Hi everybody, I'm Dave and today I'm working with the M235 combination microwave PIR motion sensor. Now, yeah, you know, I've, I've, number one, I've always said when it comes to sliding glass door at the grocery store, it's, it's a no-brainer. But when you're dealing with a swing door, it gets tricky. You, you do have to fuss around a little bit. So, and M227L is out there as well, which is a PIR sensor only with a 250, two, I'm sorry, with the 235, we have a PIR and we have a microwave. Now, these are made to be wired, so one will be a trigger and one will be your safety beam sensor. Now, in saying a trigger, I mean it triggers the door opener and the safety beam sensor if the door begins to close and it detects motion then the safety kicks in so you know that could be done with the 227L as well but I think the benefit of of the 235 is it's just a little more sensitive especially on that safety now whether you want the PIR to be the trigger or the microwave to be a trigger it all depends on how you wire it into our 120 series now one thing I noticed about this we've got glass lenses on the PIR the same with the 227L and you know that's a good sign that that's a very good sign that shows there's some quality into this you know optical glass has always been somewhat of an art so I'm I'm happy to see that now a couple things about the 227L and I'll briefly point on them here is that we've got one harness and it's nice and long good lord I think I got probably 10 feet of wire there you know, the tricky part it, about it, and we'll, we'll put these in photos at the end, we've got a jumper, and it's a, three pins below it. We want it on the top two, uh, A and B. On the back side of this, there is a switch, and this switch is for you know stabilization if you've got I think if you were an interior environment you'd set it one way exterior environment it would be in a loop so it'd be adopting to the environment I'm not quite certain on that and I don't really have an outside door I can play with at this point but you know for interior use it doesn't seem to matter if I've got it to the right or the left it just it does the same thing in here I think with an exterior it may be different now I, I do have the lens off of this and of course it does have a cover um, we're going to include some wiring diagrams on the end of the video as to how this can be wired notably two different ways so with our 120 series you know as always uh, when you first fire up you want the door to close so we open halfway and this side will be our door close position yes it does go immediately to the close position now for the trigger now I've I've triggered the door. I've caused the door to open. And first cycle slow, keep that in mind. <clears throat> now when it comes to close, I'm gonna activate the safety. 
and it backs up. No, residential, I don't know, it's not so critical, but if you get into a high volume environment, especially a hospital, a clinic, you know, civic buildings, I really think more people should be putting these out there. You know, and the price is there a little bit, but when you consider what a lawsuit costs these days, oh my God, buy the safety beam sensor. And the other thing is too, with smaller rural areas, people aren't accustomed to automatic doors and they want to close the door. And yeah, I understand. I grew up in Northern Minnesota. Day one, shut the damn door. But it, but people are accustomed to motion sensors or if the door automatically opens, they get it. And it's an automatic door and they leave it alone. So, you know, if you're in a smaller town and you're introducing a motion sensor, or, or a, I'm sorry, a door opener, it's good to have that motion sensor. And your 120 series will last a whole lot longer. So with that, I'm going to close and we'll put some images and wiring diagrams at the end of the video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.